Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And now we're going to continue through the, the Water Temple now that we have everything that we need to keep going. And I, well, I think so at least. There is one path that we could go on right now that I'm not going to do straight away. And instead I'm going to go through this door that's locked. And see what's through here. Well, for one thing, we have a couple of keys here that are going to get in my way if I don't take them out. But also, this room used to terrify me a lot as a kid because there's those platforms that are moving down very slowly into the hole in the ground, never to return. There's also this sculptor up here that I don't think is close enough for me to get from here. Maybe. That would be really funny if I could reach it. Just barely. Nope. Okay. Well, let's go down here then. And now we need to climb up these platforms with the hook shot before they sink down too far. Which is probably easier said than done. Can I please? Okay. Please. There we go. As I said, they're moving down really slow, so it shouldn't be too bad to just climb up these like this. Unless you're panicking. <laughs> That'll make things a lot harder for you. Okay, and then to the platform up here. Just like that. Okay, need a second key to get through here. And now we have some more Tektites that are going to be probably annoying because we can't take them out with the hookshot, I'm pretty sure. We just stun them with the hookshot. We can use the bow, but I don't even think I need to worry about them, so I'm just going to do my own thing. We have this special switch over here, though, that if we activate turns blue instead of red, and raises the water level in here. So let's go across here now, that we can do that. Uh, we're going to just need to keep hitting that switch in the middle there. If I could hit it again. I think it would probably be best if I was actually using my bow on this. Get rid of you, please. Thank you. Okay. Let's hit that, please. There we go. Because we could hookshot to this other statue over here, but we don't want to. We want to hookshot over to this. Because otherwise we'll fall into the water. And that won't be where we want to go. But if the statue's head is down, it allows us to actually climb over it like that. Basically we need to just do the same thing again. Just like this. And get across again. Like that. Okay, hit that again. To lower the head. Also, it's funny because the tectites just don't drop down while the water is lowering. And they also don't rise when it's rising as well. So they'll just be under the water for a second. Oh, come on. I'm better than this. There we go. But we want to be standing on top of this head when it goes up again so we can actually get up here. Now, I'm a little bit concerned by this like like here, but I think I could possibly take it out from over here. Yes. So let's do that before going across, because otherwise we're going to have a bad day. Losing our shield or something. It is cool though if you do get uh, absorbed by a like like and you lose your shield or tunic, because when you get it back you can actually see it as a 3D model on the ground to pick up, so just li lying there basically. But anyway, let's go in here. Oh, the still's locked. But if we turn around, there's a figure on this island now. This is Dark Link. Conquer yourself? We have to. And he's annoying because he will counter our attacks, so we can't really stab him. Which is annoying. And he can also shield as well, which is going to do a lot as well. But I believe if I just stab at him without targeting him with the Z button and just walk into him like this, we can just stab through his, or well, uh, slash through his defense, so. You could also use Din's fire if you want to take him out like that, but... 
This seems to work better for me. Spin attack doesn't work. I don't think jump attack works either. Because he just gets on top of your sword. He also appear behind you. Whenever you... When he, whenever he reappears after falling back. Come on. Just like that. You will get hit a little bit in this fight, but it's not too bad. As long as you just keep hitting him like this without targeting. Come on. There we go. Come on. Nice. I believe Megaton Hammer also works a little bit, maybe? I might be wrong about that. Let me try, though. Yeah, Megaton Hammer just works. For some reason. Because you can walk up to him and just hit him. That's actually really funny. That's probably the best way to do this fight, then. Is just Megaton Hammer him. Because he doesn't block, because he doesn't think that it's a sword attack. That's really funny. Come on. Have to be getting close. Also, what happens if I... Switch to my bigger on sword or giant's knife? That, that happens. Okay, cool. That's also a really good strategy. So maybe my st strategy of just attacking him like that wouldn't be the best way to do it. But anyway, after defeating him, everything fades out to normal, I guess. Because this was actually just a room the whole time. But anyway, let's go through this door now. You found the long shot. It's an upgraded hook shot. It extends twice as far. So now the hook shot is now the long shot, and it's going to be extremely helpful. Basically, that's all I need to say. We're going to need to use this a fair bit. It's going to help us get sculptures that we couldn't really reach before, but just, it's so good. Anyway, play the song of time here. This also means we can actually get that sculptor that we couldn't get in the, one of the previous rooms. Come on. There we go. Let's hop on down here, please. And now, we have the River Rapids here. Link, be careful! Don't get swallowed by the Vortexes! Because if you do, you get taken somewhere. I can't remember where. I think it's the beginning of the dungeon. I might be wrong about that, but I wouldn't want to find out. I think it's also the same thing that happens if you get caught by a Wallmaster. As well, so I need to be careful. Oh, swim away! Carefully. There's also a gold sculptor here that we need to get, so I'm gonna iron boots out of here. So we can walk on the ground here, but if you get too close to a slope, you will slide down and get pulled in. It's quite difficult to swim out of the vortexes. But anyway, let's grab that, please. Thank you. This also makes it a lot easier to use Pierre in a couple places that we've already used him. Particularly on top of the, um... The Lakeside Laboratory. Because that was a very, very, very close to the edge, I guess. Also, this fairy respawns here if you need that, which I don't. Also, I got bugs at some point, because I went and did something. I'm pretty sure. Maybe? Well, I think I, I grabbed it a, a long way of getting uh, the sculptor on top of Death Mountain. Now, I believe there's a target up there we can use to get over here. But also, I need to get up my bow again. Let's do that. We want to shoot this eye over here. But this golden eye is a timed switch, so we need to quickly jump over to this chest or just hook shot to it, I guess. Because that's probably what everyone does anyway. And we get a small key for that. So we did need to go all the way through here. Just because we needed to use it to get to the other parts of the dungeon that we haven't been to yet. But anyway, this actually loops back to this room that we've already been in. Which is kind of annoying because it means we have to do a little bit more backtracking that we didn't have to do before. 
But it's okay, so. Get rid of you. So we have to head back to the main room now. And to find out what's on the last path that we haven't gone through. Down we go. I have to stay down because I have to hook shot out of here. Or long shot out of here, technically, because it's the long shot now. Okay. Please, please, please. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Oh wait, this is... It's not... The water level's higher now, so I can actually just swim out. Good. Good, 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 good. Uh, I also think I need to lower the water again, possibly. For one other thing that we need to get while we're here. So I might need to do that then. I did think there was something else that we need to do. Actually, yes, there's actually a few things we need to do with the water level down again. So let's do that. Down we go. I think it's pretty easy to just walk like this. And then remove the boots once we're in position. There we go. This is a very interesting dungeon. It uses things quite well. Okay. Let's do this. You have to lower the water level at least twice, so... And if you get completely confused by the chest chest in this room with the middle water level, you'll probably have to do it a fair bit more. Because you go around in circles with the water level, I'm pretty sure. How did I not take fall damage? That's interesting. <laughs> I should have taken I should have taken so much fall damage just then. Anyway, let's head on through the middle again. We do need to make the water mid height. Mid high. I don't know how to say that better than that. Also can I Go up a lot faster now that I have this long shot. Or do I have to do it the normal way? I should probably do it the normal way since there's the mark up here that I need to play the song for. So let's do that. You can also go back through the door that we exited through on the second level by reigniting a torch there with Din's fire. Or, yeah, just to. Or maybe with the arrows, possibly. I can't remember exactly. But anyway. We don't want to leave this room just yet, though, because now that we have the long shot, we can actually go up a little bit further and get... Well, actually, no, we don't have to go up further at all. We can just get the sculptor from here. That works a lot faster than anything else I could have done. So let's grab that. That one's an easy one to miss. Because there's a torch right there, and if you use Dinter's Fire or Arrow, you can get back in there. Not that we need to, though, so... Instead, I'm going to look around... Have I been in this... Hang on, I'm looking at the map wrong, aren't I? Can I bring that back? Thank you. Yeah, I've already been down that path, haven't I? I want to be over here. Because over here, there's a switch down here, but it's also a golden eye. So we know that that's only going to be active for a few seconds. We need the long shot. To very quickly pull myself in. Thank you. Even if the door locks while you're moving across, it will still allow you through. I'm pretty sure. But anyway, this is actually the other side of this block that we pushed into place ages ago. So let's push this out of the way now. Just like that. And now we can get this treasure chest right here, which is, again, easy to not see. But you just need to make sure that you see that there's that eye switch there and get the long shot. But anyway, small key. Very nice. <laughs> rupees. Imagine if I ever needed rupees. It's also good that we're here, or well, done everything that we've already done, because we also need to be able to hook shot out of here. So let's do that. It's so well designed. It's crazy. Anyway, let's head down now, because I think that's everything else done in the dungeon. So we just need to go down through this last area. Because there's one thing we're still missing before we can head to the boss. Friendship. 
Okay, I believe I need to look around there to get out. I'm also going to equip my iron boots. Now we can go across here. We do have two keys to go through here, so I think we could have probably gone through here earlier. I just prefer doing the long shot first. Actually, maybe, possibly, this target might be too far away for the hook shot. Which would make sense. Which would really just make the dungeon easier to navigate. Anyway, we have this place with more of the vortexes, and also the water current is just absolutely wild in here. Also the boulders and the tactites. Also I can't, I'm stuck. Ah! Just go to the other side, please. Thank you. Ask and you shall receive. Just gonna ignore all the tactites. I remember shooting all of those when I was younger, but you know, now that I'm older, I just ignore everything in the universe, apparently. Now, I'm pretty sure I can't just hit that switch there and just move on. Um, let's get out some bombs. Check what's in these pots as well, if I can actually do that. Maybe not. Okay. Well, let's go over here then. Ow. They only do a little bit of damage. It's kind of crazy how little damage every enemy does. I would expect them to do a whole lot more, but I guess they get... They do more damage from repeated attacks, so... But we need to push this block now. Which will take some time. Especially because we have to go back and forth a few times. We have to start on this end because we need to push it directly into a wall, so we can't pull it into the wall completely. It will take an extra step otherwise. Now, we need to pull this out just a little bit. Like, once will probably be fine. I'm going to pull it out twice just to make sure there's extra space to make it a little bit easier for myself. Just so I don't have to fit into a small crack. Like that. Okay. Because you just hold to the wall and you can just get in. But now we just need to push this through onto the switch. Do, 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 do. Hello, enemies. This is the other thing about the enemies in this room, is you could probably take them out just so that they don't bother you while you're pushing this block. Although they didn't seem to do that much until I let go of the button, so... But anyway, that raises the water level, allowing us to move on. This controller just loves the rumble. Anyway, let's go through here. This loops back, I think, somewhat. But we need to press this first and actually get across this room. Oh, hey, timer. And also jumping across these water platforms, which we only need to jump across two, really. And you just completely ignore those tectites. Wow. Anyway, this is uh, loops back to the room we had those tectites in uh, with the current that I was struggling with. There's also a gold skull there. And we want to go against the flow of the current over this way. So let's do that, and iron boots, if I can do that, please. Okay. Now, let's get that gold skulltula. If I can hit it properly. This is also where the boulders spawn from, on one side of the room. Okay, there we go. Very nice. How many of those do we have now? 76, that's a pretty good number to have of skulltulas. Oh, move. Ah! I have fallen. Please. 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 I don't like this enemy. And it's timing and it's blocking. There we go. Got it. Okay then. Let's go ahead and take off our iron boots. Because up here is a locked door, so we needed a key. Good thing we got that other key in the main room area. And of course, right here is the boss key chest. Also, could just call it the boss chest, but anyway. I like the design of the lock on this chest. Not that it ever needs to be locked or anything. <laughs> Imagine if you had to spend key to open a chest. Ah, uh, you got the boss key. 
So now we can head back to the main room. There's also a ferry here if you need to restock on one of those. Since you can reload the room as much as you want and get two ferries each time. It's extra good. And now we need to head back to the main room now. Which I could have just set, um, set Ferrora's Wind to get back to you a lot faster. Or I could just go the normal way, you know. It's not that much walking. I've already done plenty of walking in this dungeon, so... I just imagine you could do it a lot faster. Get up there, please. Grab the ledge. Okay. Now, am I crazy? Okay, that hurts, but can I? Backflip over and not take damage, apparently. Wow. I don't think I took damage from that backflip while onto it. That just seems strange to me, but anyway. Uh, now I've made a little bit of a mistake for myself because I actually have to raise the water level, level again. So my recommendation is when you go up to that area where we, where we started the video, where you raise the water level to the, high, the fullest, put Ferrora's Wind there, and once you have the boss key, return to that. Because that would be a lot more efficient than everything else that I've done so far. Also, I just remember there's also another sculptor that I need to go back for as well. Once I get back to uh, the upper level. So, we'll do that once we're up there. No, don't drop me back down again. How dare you? We can't go up this when it's activated, which is sad. Anyway, we can also charge this up twice, which I haven't really shown with our spin attack. Okay. Come here. Revenge. I almost missed. I don't know how it jumped over my attack for a second. But we still got it. So anyway. Up we go again. I was hoping that my shield was, was going to be good enough to block it. But then it pushed me off. Which is annoying. I guess it's designed to be annoying. But anyway. I should have placed for, for all's wind. I, I thought about doing it and I didn't do it. And it's sad. Anyway. That's not Dota's Lullaby. Please. Oh my goodness, please. Oh my goodness, I'm bad at this. I'm specifically bad at doing it fast. Oh my goodness. I'm, ro I'm rolling the control stick instead of tapping it in a direction and it's making things a lot harder because I'm trying to do it fast by going back to the other thing faster. But it seems to have a... This controller just seems to have a slow connection. Anyway... Let's go into that side room real fast. There we go. I was trying to make that jump earlier and it didn't work. Okay. You do that then. Ah! Uh. Okay, please. There we go. Neutral Z-targeting uh, sl slash will be a over-the-head down slice thing. And that's good against those keys, so. Anyway, let's grab that. Thank you. Should have 78 now. No, seven, seven, 77. 77. I know numbers. <laughs> it's fine. Anyway, now that the water level's all the way up, we can actually use the hook shot, or long shot, to get across here, and I'm pretty sure those pots have fairies in them again, so... The game is really stocking us up for the boss. That's not concerning at all. You'd think that they'd be a lot less kind this far into the game, but... Nope. Just two fairies. Four fairies. Fifteen fairies. Also, this room... I really like the, this room for some reason. It just really appeals to me for some reason. I think I said for some reason several times just then. This is a problem of mine where I just repeat the same thing. Okay, up we go. Avoiding all the spike traps. Let's go in. Link, look out. That... It's gone. The water's moving.
Giant aquatic, aquatic amoeba. Morpha. Okay. Starting off. Oh my goodness, what did it do? I don't think it's supposed to do that. That's okay for me. It's really not supposed to do that. Anyway, I think I'm going to equip the bigger on sword for this just to make myself able to do a little bit more than normal. Morpha, master of the water temple. It has absolute control of the water. Pull it out its muscles, mu nucleus, and attack it. It, 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 it. And then it's close to a M. But whenever it goes up its tentacle thing, it's a good time to long shot it into us, so out of the water. So if I can do that, please. It's not a great position, but anyway. I'm gonna hit that a few times, okay. And we wanna stay away from its tentacles that are in the water if we can, because they will pull us into it and throw us around the room, which is gonna be really annoying, so. If I can though, I'd like to pull you in from over here. Okay. This is not working very well. How did I miss? It was right there. How am I missing? I guess it is fairly far away, and I'm I'm stick I'm st staying fairly far away for a reason. Okay, you also want to probably stay fairly close to the corner if you can be, especially when it's right next to you in a corner, I'm trying to grab you. Because I don't think it can reach you in the very corner. Not quite, but close. Oh my goodness, please grab it. There we go. Okay, good. Let's see if I can grab it again. Nope. Maybe. Nope. Come on. Okay, it's doing it again. This is actually going to make it very easy if it's going to keep making the tentacles there. Okay. Pull you out and do some damage. Not quite. This is really making it easy for me, just repeating the same loop. Oh, it made a couple of tentacles right there. Because it can now. Once it takes more damage. Oh, please, grab it. There we go. Oh my goodness, it's running again. Ow. Oh, I'm going to back up from that. Just because I don't want to get grabbed. I think after it's taken a lot of damage, it can create up to three tentacles, so. Not quite close enough to the end yet. Come on. Pull it out, please. Pull it out, please. Thank you. There we go. But there we go. I'm done here. Let's grab a heart container, which will appear in one of the four, in between one of the four pillars. Or two of the four pillars, you know what I mean. Anyway, let's grab that. Let's go into the light. Link. I would have expected no less from the man I chose to be my husband. 
Zoro's domain and its people will eventually return to their original state. As a reward, I grant my eternal love to you. Well, that's what I want to say, but I don't think I can offer that now. I have to guard the water temple as the sage of water. And you, you're searching for the princess, Zelda. Ha, huh, you can't hide anything from me. Princess Zelda, she's alive, I can sense it. So don't be discouraged. I can tell that nothing will stop you in your quest for justice and peace. You must take this medallion. Take it respectfully. You receive the Water Medallion. Ruto awakens as a sage and adds her power to yours. If you see Sheik, please give him my thanks, okay? As the water rises, the evil is vanishing from the lake. Link, you did it. Did Ruto want to thank me? I see. We have to return peace to Hyrule for her sake too, don't we? Look at that, Link. Together you and Princess Ruto destroyed the evil monster. Once again, the lake is filled with pure water. All is as it was here. Subtle. Anyway, immediately, let's get out our bow, and let's look at this tablet thing over here, or grave, question mark? When water fills the lake, shoot for the morning light, which conveniently, right off the temple is the morning light, so let's shoot at the sun. And look at that. Now we have to swim over there to get it. I don't think it disappears if you take too long, but I feel like it would, but I don't think it does again. Also, I'm pretty sure Pierre will actually appear here if we played the Scarecrow song, which allows us to get over here early and grab this. But now seems like a more appropriate time to grab this. You got the fire arrow. Set it to C and your arrows will be powered up. If you hit your target, it will catch fire. So fire arrows are basically an extension of the bow and it will if we have our bow equipped, we'll only... We can't have the bow and the our fire arrows equipped separately. It's, it's the bow, so... Uses up magic whenever we shoot it. But it does... Just shoots things and sets them on fire, basically. Anyway. Just gonna double check this exists. Yep. But I think you'll probably need the long shot to be able to access this any earlier. So, you're probably gonna have have you're probably gonna have completed the dungeon already. 
Unless you can do it on top of the beam plant, which I don't think you can, but maybe you can, I don't know. Anyway, before we leave here, I want to quickly also do the Sun Song. I love this design of this lake. It's just got one tree in the middle and just... It's, it's far too cool anyway. Now, I believe we want to use our long shot to go up the tree. And up... Uh, I fell. If I can get up the tree, please. Onto the branch. There is a gold sculptor up here that I want to get. Eh. Slightly touching the control stick. There we go. Another gold sculptor. Now, let me see. Is that or is that not all the sculptors on Lake Hylia? We're doing we're doing good right now. But anyway, I think that is it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. <laughs>